Hi there! I thought that I would review some baby bottles. I have two that I'm going to talk about today and the first one that I would like to start with is Dr. Brown's Natural Flow and we chose this one because this is the brand that they were using in the NICU when our baby was there. So we figured, you know, they know best. They probably pick, you know, the best of the best and why not? So we bought some more when we brought him home and it does have an anti-colic system. So it's a little topper that it's kind of like a vent that removes the air and the little funnel part of course and it just goes right inside i wasn't a huge fan of cleaning because this thing is a pain in the butt to clean especially in this funnel part because it's just so thin it's like what do you use to really get in there you know like unless you have one of those little um, wire brushes or something to get in there and yeah I was just I was not I was not a fan of that so it did work um, I would like to mention that my baby did have reflux so it was kind of hard to tell if a lot of the gas and fussiness was because of the reflux or if it was the bottle so keep that in mind when you're deciding on a bottle for your own baby. So I still did really like it. It seemed to remove quite a bit of the air. There wasn't, you know, a whole lot of burping we had to do. And if so, we got some good burps out of him. But I don't know if I would buy these again just because of how much of a pain it was to clean it and I don't know about you other moms but I did not want something else that I had to sit there and try to clean in the little nooks and crannies because I just was sleep deprived and just stressed and did not have the energy or the patience to try to clean all the little parts that came with this. So overall out of five stars I'd probably give it three and a half, maybe four, probably more like three and a half. So yeah, we used that most of his life, but then he started eating more than the volume that this would hold. These only go up to eight ounces, at least the narrow ones. Um, they do make some shorter, fatter bottles that, um, I want to say they only went up to six ounces so I couldn't find, really find any others that went any higher than eight ounces um, I'm not sure if they're out there if I just didn't look hard enough but anyway my baby was eating more so we got some other ones and I these ones were kind of appealing to me because it mentioned that it's based on how quickly your baby wants to drink it. So you don't have to really, you know, alter the nipple sizes or the flow based on, you know, them getting older and stronger and everything like that. So this was just kind of nice because you can use this as they get older and it will just kind of adjust with them. You know, just it's based on how hard they suck. Um, it is a Y-shaped nipple opening, so more does come out. And it was kind of an adjustment going from, you know, this bottle to this one because of the flow difference. And it did take him a while to adjust that, oh, you know, there's a lot of milk coming out when I suck on this. So... It was definitely a learning curve for the little guy, but I do still really like this and it's very handy to have 
this little temperature strip that it has. Um, it will turn white if it's too hot and it will stay blue if it's cool enough. And I forgot to mention this is by Nuke, Nuk, not sure how you pronounce it, N-U-K. And there's also a little anti-colic air system, I guess, that they have as well. But it's literally just this little indent. It's kind of a hole in the top. And apparently that's supposed to remove air somehow. Not really sure how that worked. But um, he really didn't have much gas when it came to these. So I do really like these. Um, so far, it's probably my favorite. We'll probably just stick with these from here on out. Um, so overall, I'd probably give this one four and a half, maybe five stars. The only thing I didn't really like is when I compared volumes. Um, like if I poured eight ounces in here and then poured it into this bottle, it didn't match up. So I'm not really sure if the measurements are super reliable, and I don't know if that's just all different bottle brands or just these two i'm not really sure so that was kind of annoying to me because i'm you know i was very adamant about oh he's eating this much we need to you know feed him that exact amount so i didn't want any kind of variance between volumes um maybe that's just me being a paranoid mom i'm not really sure so i did really like this one and yeah I would definitely recommend it um, easy to clean easy to put together take apart it does its job and it's nice that it just kind of you know grows with your baby so that is pretty much it. I don't remember how much these costed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's probably time for me to go to bed. I didn't realize what time it was. Anyway, if you're looking for some good baby bottles, I would recommend either of these. Um, I guess just pick whichever one seems to kind of fit your needs. You can always try it out. And I think these come in single packages and these come in packs of three. So that's kind of nice if you just want to try one out instead of purchasing multiples and then realizing you don't like them, <laughs> then you're like, oh, well, just wasted three bottles. So that's kind of nice about these ones, though. And that is it. I hope that that was helpful and informative. And I hope you all have a lovely evening or whatever time it is that you're watching.